question number 11. Okay, question number 11 is like question dealing with man groups. Okay, consider these statements regarding man groups. Man groups thrives best in soil with low silt composition. Second statement says red mangroves are found along the coastline where conditions are the harshest. And third statement says black mangroves are characterized by the presence of dark bark. Okay, so you have to pick out the not correct statements here. You have to pick out the incorrect statements. Okay, see uh, the first statement says mangroves thrives best in soil with low silt composition. Low silt composition. We have seen that mangroves, uh, they are very much rich in biodiversity. Okay, they are very much rich in biodiversity and they are um, found in unique environments, mainly between the land and water area. We, we can say most often they act as a buffer zone between the land ecosystem as well as the water or the uh, marine ecosystem, we can say. So basically, it is a transitional area between the terrestrial or the land ecosystem and the aquatic ecosystem. So, it most often functions as an ecotone and most often we can see mangroves, they are very much rich in biodiversity. They are very much rich in biodiversity. They are very highly productive ecosystem and they thrives well in locations which is uh, very much abandoned in silt. Okay, it is, you can see that those area where the mangroves inhabit, they will be, they will be thriving in areas having abundant silt which is being brought by the waters okay which is uh, brought by the rivers in that area you will find abundant silt content so it is not low silt it is abundant silt okay so the first statement that's why it is wrong and you uh, might have uh, studied that yeah, in the mangroves the main types of trees or main types of plants are they are halophytes, they are halophytes as well as hydrophytes. Halophytes in the sense, yes, they are adapted to live in the salty conditions or they are adapted to uh, um, tolerate the salt water. That is why they are known as halophytes, which can, they are salt tolerant plants. Hydrophytes in the sense, most often they are subjected to uh, the water logging conditions. So, the plants living there must be adapted to live in such water logging conditions. That's why they are known as hydrophytes. Okay, well adapted to live in such water logging conditions. That's why they are known as hydrophytes as well. So, they are most often halophytes and hydrophytes uh, or you can see such plants there. So, the first statement here it is long, wrong. Uh, it is like mangroves thrives best in soil with high silt composition. And second statement says red mangroves are found along the coastlines where the conditions are harshest. And third statement, black mangroves are characterized by the presence of dark bark. See, uh, there is another classification related with mangroves. Three types of mangroves are there. Uh, red, black and white. Okay, red mangroves black mangroves, white mangroves, okay. So, the red mangroves are those which are found along the uh, shores or those which are found along the coastlines are known as red mangroves and they are well adapted to live in major harsh conditions and all. Such type of mangroves we call it as the red mangroves. And uh, the black mangroves, the main or uh, the predominant features or the characteristic feature of black mangroves is that their uh, bark is very dark in color. That's why they are known as black mangroves and the white mangroves uh, are those like which when compared with the other two that is the red and black mangroves the white mangroves are those which can grow at the highest elevation such type of mangroves uh, are named as the white mangroves okay so these are the main uh, types of mangroves that is based upon their characteristic features the red which is found along the shoreline which can live in the harshest conditions Black mangroves whose uh, bark is dark in color and white mangroves when compared with red and black they can live or they can thrive well in the uh, highest elevation. Okay, so that is the uh, types of mangroves. So here the second and third statements they are right. Red mangroves, yes they are found along the coastline where conditions are harshest and third black mangroves which are characterized by the presence of dark bark. Okay, so that is also right. 
So second and third statements are right here, but see what is the question? Question is asking about the incorrect statement, only the first statement here it is incorrect, which means yes, it is A, one only is your answer. If you know the types of mangroves, then definitely you will come to know that second and third statements are right. Thereby you can apply the elimination that is B, C and D gets eliminated and you will get A, one only as the answer, provided you have uh, the basic knowledge of types of mangroves, okay. Yes, 12th question. With reference to coral reef system, which of the following statements is or are correct? You, you have to pick out the correct statement from the uh, options. That is, it is an ABCD type of question. So, you have to pick out the correct statement with regard to uh, coral reef. Tropical reefs occur in shallow tropical areas where the sea water is clean, clear and cool. B. Cold water corals inhibit deep cold water and they are less in number compared to tropical coral reefs. C. The largest cold water coral reefs is Roast Reef of Norway and D. None of the above. Okay, so with regard to uh, this particular question, the question is asking you about coral reefs. Okay, so with regard to coral reefs, we have studied that it is a symbiotic association of coral polyps and algae. Okay, so the coral polyps, it is forming the animal part and the algae which is the, uh, the algal part which is formed by zooxanthellae. Okay, so this is, uh, these two um, organisms, they actually form symbiotic association. That is what is known as coral reefs. So here, see basically the uh, coral reefs, they can be classified into tropical coral reefs as well as uh, cold water corals are also there, okay. So the tropical coral reefs, they are mainly found in the uh, tropical and subtropical waters, okay. They are mainly found in the tropical and subtropical waters mainly or they, we can say that uh, corals mainly grow best in the warm, shallow, clear and sunny water, okay. Warm, shallow, clear and sunny water, they cannot, they cannot tolerate such um, uh, cooler environments. So, the tropical reefs, they are mainly found in uh, the warm, shallow, clear, sunny water. And with regard to the cold water corals, they inhibit the deep uh, cold waters and according to UNEP, there are more number of cold water reefs, uh, coral reefs when we compare it with that of the tropical coral reefs, okay. And um, roast reef, okay, roast reef which is uh, situated in Norway is the largest uh, cold water coral reef in the world and we know the great barrier reef which is off the co uh, coast of Queensland in Australia, it is the world's largest tropical coral reef, okay. So uh, with regard to all these four statements, the correct statement you have to find. The first statement says tropical reefs occur in shallow tropical areas, that is okay, shallow tropical areas where the sea water is clean, clear, that is also right, and cool, it is cool, is it cool, it is warm, okay, so that's why the uh, option A is wrong. B says cold water in corals inhibit deep cold water, that is right, and they are less in number compared to tropical coral reefs. So according to UNEP, they are saying that the cold water corals, they are more in number. So second is option, it is also wrong. C says the largest Cold water coral reef is roast reef of Norway. That is a right statement only. It is a roast reef of uh, Norway which is the largest cold water coral reef. So C is the correct uh, option here, okay, which is dealing with the correct statement. C is your answer here.